So we've come to a place called the Brecon Beacons and as you can see we're doing a spot of wild camping. Uh, I'm not sure where exactly we are but we're near, we're near Penny Fan and uh, for those of you who aren't aware Brecon Beacons is in the south of Wales. Penny Fan's one of the, one of the mountains here. And uh, it's not only known for its, its lovely forest but its beautiful views and also its damn, damn awful weather. It's about six in the morning now, half six-ish. Hopefully the clouds are gonna lift soon, but I'm not being too hopeful. It's damn midges everywhere. So, first order of the day is to pack up our tents, have a bit of breakfast, and start making our way up Penny Fan. <laughs> Midges. So small change of plan, fast forward about an hour from when we packed up our tent and we're almost back down to where we started, we're, uh, we're right near the car now where we parked off yesterday and we realised that because we're camping at the top of Penny Fan tonight, if we'd made our way up there now, we'd essentially just be sitting up there for about 10 or 11 hours. Yeah, it was just a big waste of a day really, so we've come back down to the car, we're going to try and explore the surrounding areas. I think there's an area called Black Mountain we're going to go to first. See what we can get there. So we've pretty much made it to Black Mountain region and we were driving up in this direction and in my rear view mirror I saw this nice slightly winding road off into the distance. But what it really did is it drew my eye to the mountains in the background and I saw a nice beam of light coming through the clouds on top of those mountains. Unfortunately that light isn't there anymore, the time it's taken for me to park up and quickly run down and set up my gear, but the composition's still quite nice and uh, I'm going to give the shot a go at least. And what I'm going for is about 35mm, what I want to do is I don't want to compress this scene too much. I want it to appear that this road really starts out huge, then shrinks right off into the distance. And then it's kind of leading your eye into a point in the background where you can just about see those mountains. And in the foreground slash midground here, just to add a little bit of interest, I've got this really nice symmetrical tree here, just in the top left-hand corner of my rule of thirds composition, just again to add a little bit of foreground slash midground interest. I'm gonna go for quite a small aperture, F13, because I want to have pretty much everything in focus. So we've come to this waterfall called Henried, is it Henried? Henried Falls, yeah. Oh, welcome to Henried Falls. Henried, I'm probably butchering the name, but apparently it's quite a popular tourist attraction around here. It might be pretty packed down there, so getting a shot of it might take a while. So we've made it down near this waterfall and my goodness, I couldn't have pictured a near perfect scene if I tried. The only thing I'd change about it really is, is how little light we have. We've got a really nice about 30 to 40 meters up, this tree line just enclosing us in down here. And if the sky was clear and we had a lot of light that would beam right down onto this tree branch here and all of these rocks. Not all is lost, because we've got such little light, I'm probably going to be able to get quite a long shutter speed by just upping up my f-stop number. So I'm probably going to go for maybe f18, f20 and I'm going to put a circular polarising filter on there as well just to remove some of this glare from all of these foreground rocks and a bit of glare on that tree branch there. Composition wise I'm going to be going for the tree branch in the bottom left hand corner of my rule of thirds composition, getting in a lot of these rocks in the bottom and having that beautiful waterfall there in the background. So we're going back to the car now and we're going to drive back to the car park that we started off this trip at just at the base of Penny Fan and I think that's pretty much it for today um, we're just going to be scaling that mountain we're about a quarter of the way up and as you can probably see the clouds are starting to break oh yes and that ladies and gentlemen will be our accommodation for the night about three quarters of the way up probably a bit more than that in fact and all in all 
it hasn't really been that hard of a walk to be honest even with all of this weight on our backs on a scale of what one to five in terms of strenuousness I'll give it probably about a two to be quite honest if you're looking for a really nice landscape and you don't fancy putting in too much effort South Wales is probably the place to be We have finally, finally made it. And it is bitterly cold up here. It's so, so cold. The top of Penny Fan is just completely flat and it leaves you so exposed. Even though it's sunny, it's still about, I don't know, 17, 18 degrees. The wind up here is just, oh, it's just so, so bitter. And I've got no gloves. I've got everything else, but I forgot my gloves. Stupid, stupid. First things first, we need to uh, look for a place to, to put our tent. And in fact, before we do that, the first thing that we actually did when we came up here, we spoke to three three guys from Wales, from here. They said they've been up here for about 45 minutes an hour, playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> they've got enough reception on their phone to play Pokemon Go. One of them even said there's, there's a gym up here. I mean, I, I'm not sure what that means, but it probably means something to some of you guys out there. But they're 900 metres up, playing Pokemon Go in the bitter, bitter cold. There's... There's just no way you can go free of Pokemon nowadays, it seems. They're just absolutely everywhere. Too rocky, too rocky. Perfect. up it's very windy so we're gonna find some stones and make sure this sucker is grounded as much as it can be i'll probably see you guys sometime in the morning hopefully for a, a miraculous sunrise <laughs> Morning. So, I'm going to show you guys the ultra clear morning that we were promised so we could uh, make the most out of the sunrise. Oh, just look at that, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's magnificent, isn't it? Oh, as far as the eye can see. So, yeah, it hasn't really gone to plan. I did mention how awful the weather normally is around South Wales and it didn't disappoint really did it? It's just a shame really I didn't manage to get any videos last night. I mean it's not like the mountain's going anywhere, we can always come back. Let's just hope next time we do, luck is on my side. So it's pretty much been exactly one day since the last video, just before we were gonna go down Penny Fang when we were encased in clouds, failing to get a sunrise photo. And we've come to the other side of Penny Fang. We've come to a car park, which is quite high up. I'm not sure how high up we are, but it's supposed to be a really nice viewing platform for a sunrise around here. 
and I was just so gutted to not be able to take a photo of a sunrise and show you guys a video of a sunrise from the top of a mountain because that would have been awesome but this is hopefully the next best thing we've been here where the car is pretty much we've been here since about 10 o'clock last night we slept here because this is an opportunity I did not want to miss and I was not really hopeful because the whole of yesterday after we came down from Penny Fan it did nothing but but rain and then was just sunny and then rained again all within the space of 10 minutes so yesterday was a complete write-off when it comes to taking photos I did manage to get some time lapses which I was quite happy about and even though I did manage to get one or two photos on the mountain with the the tent and the moon that you guys saw it was still not a sunrise so we're here for a sunrise and the sunrise we do have with this scene is definitely not disappointing it doesn't feel second best and we've got here as you can see beautiful rolling hills and mountains in the background we've got lovely flat mid ground and in this foreground here we've got all of these dramatic jagged rocks and this tree here for some foreground interest i'm going to expose for the glow of the sunrise then expose for these rocks and this tree in the foreground and then probably just stack it together to see how much detail i can bring back from both the the glow of the sun and also these shadows down here with the rocks and the trees So that is essentially a wrap on this video. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog style documentation of our very short stay here in Brecon Beacons. And I think it's just highlighted in this short amount of time the, the ups and downs of photography, how random and unpredictable it can be when it comes to weather, locations. Not everything's always happy in the world of photography. You do have to work for some of the photos that you want to take. Every single bit of effort that you put into taking a photo just makes it that little bit sweeter, that little bit more meaningful when you actually manage to capture what you want. So thank you for watching again. All of the photos that feature in this video as well as the other photos that didn't feature in this video will be on my Flickr, my Instagram, my Facebook account. Just check them out. Follow me on there. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Thank you very much if you have subscribed to me already. The support has been overwhelming. Thank you very much guys for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.